Okay guys, I'll be showing you how to do combat in this game. We're gonna do first off we're gonna show you two different types of combat. So first off place your enemy you wanna fight or any yeah, any way to activate it. First off we have the first actually three types of combat. First combat is very simple, attackable in real time, click that on, and then always hostile, it will be always attack you no matter what. Hostile if attacked, that means if you attack it, it'll attack back. Now we got the last one, never hostile, which is basically a run away or something like that, I don't know. I'm going to do always hostile, how much XP it drops, it's image, uh, XP is in the stats, which is going to be right here, XP. That's the stat, and then what it does is for leveling, so once you get 100 XP, you go to level 2 and increase your stats. Now we're going to go back to him. So now we're going to give, he's going to drop 111, so we level up once we kill him. Save that, and now it should be playable. Yes, sir. We did that, guys. You did that. You got your enemy, and you're attacking me with that. You did it, guys. You did it. You did it. Yeah. You know, so over here, he's gonna be like, "Hey, screw you, man. He hits me, man. What the heck, man? Get out of here, buddy. And you kill him, and then you level up because you have enough XP to level up. Now to change plat, pat, uh, how much, how to change his stats, make him stronger or weaker. You can double click him right here, or you can find him on the side panel under the turtle area and under characters. And then we're gonna have is uh right down here. You're gonna well, under closing override is gonna be the stats, how much HP it has, and then how much damage he does, and all that movement, how many tiles he can move in a certain in a turn based combat. I don't know in that. We're gonna show you later. And then defense is how much is damage reduction it takes. So we're gonna go ahead and then start the next one. So the next one, we're gonna click on him. We're gonna turn off his attackable in real time because we do something else for him. We're gonna be doing combat. First off, we need to create an enemy. Enemy, we name it Goblin. Goblin, because he's a little goblin. He's a little goblin. His base model is gonna be one of these models from the character menu. Goblin, 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 Goblin. Sorry, because that's my model's name. XP it drops. Give it value, and we have drops. This oh, I, I forgot I was messing around with this before, so ignore this. Ignore this. But this is what drops are. So we're gonna name one called. Goblin drop. So basically, it's drop, and then this goblin drop is gonna drop money. You can do items too, but we're not gonna mess with items right now. How much money drops? So it's gonna drop 69 money, monies, monies, monies. And then we're gonna have a battle. We're gonna name this Goblin Battle. This is where the battles. This is Goblin Battle. The battle. We get different ones: tactical, turn base, which is like you can r move around. I don't know. Explain that. But we're gonna do menu driven first. And then we're gonna drag in our goblin. So we're gonna fight one goblin. And we got a victory script. We're not gonna mess with this right now. A script will play once you win. And this will script will play once you lose. Defeat script. Let's click play. Okay, I lied. We should not click play. I just realized I did not put the script on my boy goblin. Well, not the script, the battle. We're gonna. This is gonna be battles. We're gonna go to click on him. We're gonna do when interact, start battle, and goblin battle. We battle name, save. And then click play. And now it should work if I didn't mess up, and you you didn't mess up. Hopefully you didn't mess up. If any uh, questions, ask in the comments. <laughs> Click play, and then this is the menu driven thingy. What should I do? Should I attack it? Which enemy should I attack? Goblin. Oh, we just attack goblin. Attack a goblin, and we just killed the goblin. This one's kind of boring. This is for brain dead people like you, you little numb skull. I'm I'm joking, guys. Don't don't dislike. I, it was a prank. Combat. So in combat, we're gonna change this. Instead of menu, we're gonna do a tactical turn based. And this is when you can move. So uh we're gonna actually go ahead and check we're gonna create a new map for this. For 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 like you want still be able to talk to this guy, you can't do this script and stuff like that to like it's just like a battle arena basically. So like you can't mess with other scripts while in the battle. So this is it. We've got a plank slate right here. Overworld battle arena, remember that name? And then put over your overworld uh overworld battle arena. Player spawn, which can be random tile, random tile group. Uh, we're not messing with that because you guys, that's 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 a little. It's kind of a headache sometimes with that one, so we're not messing with that one yet. Tactical turn based goblin, that's an enemy, and victory, you know that, and that's it. Oh, you go through range, so we can actually fight two, three goblins, or one or three and stuff like that. We'll do fix because we're not fighting 50 goblins. That's way too much for us. We are not that strong. Let's do quick play. Oh wait, goblin. Let's let's also. Just in case, click on this goblin. Uh, make sure it has none, and then reset it. Just in case, I've I've heard someone talk about how 
if they change the like the battle in the settings, but when it go in battle in game, it doesn't change. I don't know if that bug still exists, but hey, I heard someone say that had that. So now if we click on him, we're gonna start a battle. This is turn base. Look at the little, little, little fella go. Look at the little fella go. Little, 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 little fella go. And we just boom. Get out of here, buddy. Okay. I think that's a bug. Hold up. Oh, I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Uh, guys, I found out. I think uh, turn off damage, shake slash flash, and remove defeated enemies. Oh wait, no, keep that one on. Damage, shake flash. I don't. I thought they fixed this bug, but apparently it's still in the engine. I think this is why it's happening. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Cause that one actually. I'm shocked they haven't fixed that one yet. If it that one's the reason, it's like that. It was the reason. Yeah, and then we got we just killed the enemy. So, uh, guys, make sure to turn off damage slash shake slash flash because that will lock you in the battle still for some reason. Don't ask me why. That's literally been in the game engine for so long. That bug. I don't know why they never fixed it. So yeah. Also, since now this is going to be more complicated, we're gonna go ahead and start messing with uh victory. Oh, also gonna show you how to start a battle in a script. Let's go instead of let's do a new enemy. Let's do one of you. Okay, so we're gonna click this one down and then click on him. Okay. Okay, so I clicked on him. He's gonna. This is where you can do it. So you can do appearance and act start scripts. We don't have a script right now, so we're gonna miss it out later. What we're gonna do is goblin. We'll name this whatever you want. Goblin fight script. My got my bad guys. Someone's texting me right now. Uh, what is this? Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do goblin fight script. So the fight script is going to be uh. So we're gonna do when we're gonna do start battle. Start battle, and they're gonna give it the battle name. Goblin battle. And then boom, it's gonna do the battle basically. Okay, goblin battle, and then no battle start. So goblin fight script, and then put the script on my homeboy over here. Goblin fight script. Save it, and then once you interact with him, of the script will play, and then that's how you sort of battle with the script. Which actually I didn't know that, so. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while. I mean, it took a while for me to understand how to do that. Let's go talk to him over here, and then battle starts just like normal. But the difference with this type of battle is, if we, for example, we kill him, we're gonna know something strange about it. Once we kill him, he's still here. What are you doing here, man? He's supposed to be dead. Well, funny thing is, the game doesn't know he's supposed to be dead, cause it's just gonna run a script. That's it. It's not gonna connect the script really to him he's just an activator for the script so how we get rid of him once we kill him you must be asking to yourself little jimmy well little jimmy i've actually mastered this game i actually learned this one myself actually using the victory script now we're gonna create a new script called goblin defeated l plus ratio names whatever you want i don't really care you have to remember the name though so now we're gonna whenever we kill this guy we're gonna actually do some script remove entity which is gonna be remo removing a certain creature by id we're gonna do it by id entity by id which is gonna be the id so what's its id well we have to create one click on the goblin go ahead and go let's give it an id six nine four twenty i love men you can name it whatever you want. I do not love men unless I mean unless. Okay, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. Go back on track. So goblin defeated. Go ahead and copy and paste your ID here, and boom, remove entity. So when a goblin is defeated, it will be on victory script. Goblin defeated L plus ratio. So yeah, and in defeat script, that's basically if you get if you lose, it will just won't do anything. Cause yeah, you'll still be here. Cause it's only on the victory script which put the script oh once you win it'll put a script and say oh we're supposed to remove that entity once we win so it removes him so now technically the average joe is gonna say oh 
I must have killed him. That's why he's a uh, gun. So we just beat him up in a battle. Get out of here. Get out of here, young buster. You really think you're hot, Jack? Boom! He's gone. I'm like a wizard, bro. Harry Potter up in his... I can't say the word, guys. Trying to get that 18... Oh, uh, wait, not 18 plus. Uh, one plus. Year, one year olds can watch our video. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna do a defeat script. So if you get defeated, what happens instead? We're gonna do goblin defeat script. Goblin def uh, defeats you. Which is gonna be it kills you. So what should what should happen if it kills you? So what should happen if the goblin defeats you? We're gonna we're gonna look at something. Let's, what should I teach you guys? A little fun bonus. Goblin defeats you. Let's play this. Let's play a message. Let's play a message. Display message. Uh, you suck. I don't know. You suck. You suck. Yeah, you like that, huh? You suck, buddy. You suck. You suck. Go to combat. Goblin defeats you, and then boom, load script. And now we are going to load the script in. Teaching all you guys about this this combat, this peak combat. Click on him, boom, and then let, let's let him kill him. Let's let let's let this man destroy us in in battle. I mean, oh my goodness, he's stabbing me. I lost. Go, you suck. What the, what the heck, man? Oh my goodness, bro. My ego was freaking horrendous. Also, once you lose half your HP, is taken away, and go back to like, the real screen. So we're actually gonna do. We can also do custom sound effects. Let's go, buddy. With the sound effects generator, you can input your own sounds. Let's make a new. Let's make a. That's gonna be a new hit sound. Oh, I I messed up. Yeah, click on him. Click save sound. When they just hit by my boy. I name it whatever. I don't care. This is your game, not my game. What are you doing, guys? Why? <laughs> Damage sound effects. So if you get hit, hit my boy. That's the sound that's gonna play. And then. Yeah, so if we click play, and then we get in a little, little scuffle with my boy Goblin over here. He's going to, oh, he's going to play a little funny sound if he hits us, and when we hit him, instead of that old goofy sound, we got the, come over here, hit me. Little, little sand sound. We can absolutely destroy, buddy. Okay, now what else do we have to teach you? I don't know what else I have to teach you. We got a range, I teach you. Oh, yep, 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 player spawning group. So we're gonna have to make a group in battle. So we're actually gonna make a new tile. Let's make a new tile. Let's make, oh, if you don't know, I double click it to access in a f editor. We're gonna do a save as. That means like make a copy of it. We're gonna name this uh, player spawn tile. So we're gonna spawn in this tile. We're gonna change the color. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little a little little silly looking tile. A little accident type tile, bro. Yeah, you like that tile, don't you? That little, I'm a lot. I mean, an artist, an artist. We're gonna do that. Save it. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, right click. Wait, no, is it like click? I haven't made it. A grouping. Add to group. We're gonna a group name. What's the group name? We have to remember this group name. We're gonna name this player spawn group. Okay, that's 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 name. Click OK. Copy and paste that just in case, guys. If you don't remember what you named it, cause it's a little goofy, a little silly. And then we're gonna plus spawn in group. This is gonna be the player spawn. Wait, in group. With man tile in group, and that tile, man tile is gonna be that one tile that's in that group. So now, if we go in a little battle, a little scuffle with my homeboy over here, a little scuffle. Let's click on my homeboy over here. Boom! We spawn in this tile, dude. You guys are basically pros at this point. I just taught you like the trade secret, bro. You're literally like Charlie Brown in the Charlie Factory, bro. Your peak, your peak humanity right here. That's basically all to do with combat. I taught you literally everything. Uh, that's for, that's for a different video. That's for a different video. We're gonna do that like, maybe a part two. So watch out for the part two, guys, because I don't. I have to do something real quick, guys. I gotta go eat my dog. So see you guys next video. Uh, adios. Merry Christmas.